No, it's looking great. Oh, what? Hello everyone, it is quiet time. I don't think I've talked to you. It's just been a school day and a very, very hot day, so I have not been out except to do a quick school project. But yeah, got up. We made egg sandwiches today and then just attacked school. Everybody had a big project today. Jax's was drawing the water cycle. That's fine. I'm gonna put it in that basket for now. And Sebastian and I worked on one together for Where Am I? We'll show them your project, right? Did you do a project? We had the planet, and the continent, and the country, and the state, and the city, and then what was the final one? A house. Our house. That was this big project, and then we just did basic language arts, and I don't think we did math. We didn't quite finish everything, because that was a big project, and we really got sucked into exploring Google Earth. That was really fun. Touched on 9-11 a little bit, because he was really into exploring New York City and then he pointed up to our picture we have downstairs with the Twin Towers and I explained how airplanes flew into it. We did watch a quick video and I cannot watch it or talk, even talk about it without crying. Just, it is so ingrained in my brain, just the feeling of living through that. Just being a young adult, we had our townhouse and getting all these calls that morning, family checking on us because we lived so close to DC at the time. Yeah, that was poor little guy sensitive and he teared up too, but we talked about how it's important to know even about the bad things that have happened. And then we moved on and we were fine. We had some lunch. My husband sent me this morning a thing for a donation drive for hats and scarves. I believe for the military, it's Operation something or other. I need to look it up, but it's one of the charities that he does a lot of stuff for, especially with the kids. So I pulled out a knitting loom that somebody gave me so many years ago before I even had kids. I don't know that I've ever made a hat with it. I think I just made like a couple bags. So I'm testing it out right now. But I think it might be a problem that they say you need to use worsted weight yarn, which is medium yarn and not bulky. And that thing is made for bulky as far as I can tell. It says you can use worsted weight, but you have to use two strands. So I'm using two strands and I don't know if that's acceptable. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. And if it's too thick, we won't send that. I'll try to see if there's another way because I feel like Jax could learn to do that. And I don't know if it's faster than just knitting on a needle or what, but I'd like to have a couple things to donate. Anyway, that's all I have for you. I was just starting that knitting after 
lunch. Lunch was a big Southwest salad. I made two of them and we delivered one Dan down to Danny. And I had some peanut butter rice cakes a little bit later because I felt like I needed some protein. But just gonna do quiet time and yeah, it's not a very exciting day. I'm dressed in like exercise clothes again because I wasn't sure if I was gonna go out. The lighting is just not good. I look like I'm yellow. <laughs> get a grip, iPhone. That's the best we're gonna get. But yeah, I'm gonna go do quiet time and I'll see you on the other side. Go sit, sit. There you go, there you go. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Have a good one, buddy. with you a quiet time. We did kind of a short one. What was I doing? I was doing that loom knitting. I don't know if I, I showed it to you. I almost finished that hat during quiet time, but I went downstairs at five and finished it up. Nobody could agree on dinner again. Sebastian just wanted to go out. That he had no plan, nothing he wanted. He just wanted to leave the house. I feel you, dude. I feel you, but there's a hair on you. Got it. But it was, I think, 88 at dinner time with a heat index of 95. And no, it was a heat index of like 99. I don't remember what the actual temperature, but I remember it was one degree under 100 for the heat index. So. We were not feeling that interested in going out. None of us were craving anything. So finally, after I had listed off all the options, my husband went, mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I, I agree. <laughs> I was just like, okay, I'm making mac and cheese because I need to feed everybody. I can't eat it, but I'm, I'm easy. I can just slap some beans and rice into a bowl of vegetables. So, Danny also said, hey, you should also make the bagel dogs, one of the other things I listed off, and some vegetables. So, that's what I did. They had broccoli, because I can't eat that one, unfortunately, because broccoli is delicious. I am intolerant, though. So, I cooked dinner. I did some exercise inside. I was all dressed up, ready for like an outdoor exercise, but no, it's so humid. This first half of the day, it was nearly 100% humidity. It went down to about 50% in the afternoon, but it was still way too gross. I think we're going to do an indoor walk at the mall tomorrow because everybody has a lighter day. Well, Jax has a lighter day for school and Sebastian has whatever I make. <laughs> but we did make really good progress in his schoolwork, so. I think there's only one thing on my initial list for the week that we didn't get to, but I was kind of on the fence about that one. So I think it'll it'll be further down the road, maybe not even next week. But after dinner, I had to do school stuff on my computer for Jax. There's that whole mess with his social studies course, world history and geography. 
being all messed up because I tried to skip some chapters, but it wouldn't skip it on his view, only on my view. So I re-added everything and then his view was working right, but mine was still messed up for the current week. Everything after that looked fine, but the stuff that was placed on the current week before is permanently stuck there. So the only thing I could do was to completely make a new lesson plan for the year, which is about a 30 minute process only because I had the old one open on another tab and I was just copying everything over exactly the same or so I thought I ended up changing a little bit in the math courses and ended up with one less item and I thought I had everything else the same but when I ran it and had all the same breaks in it scheduled the work completely different for this week <laughs> no he it automatically checks off everything he has done even with the new plan so he has an extremely light day because of how it was trying to put less on this week than what it had before. Don't know how that worked out, but it did. So he has to redo a quiz for social studies on, I don't know what it was on, was he doing culture? Yeah, culture and the studies of culture, I think. He got a 50%, so I reset that one for him to do tomorrow. I told him, you don't have a lot going on. You can really work at this and get a good score. I don't think he's thrilled. <laughs> he hates when he has to redo quizzes, but I mean, everybody does. I told Piggy I didn't have any treats in my pocket, and I totally have a little treat. I often have treats in the pockets of these sweaters for him. So yeah, I went a little bit over some time. I finished around 9.15 and then Sebastian went to help with the Lego set he was working on. One of those three-in-one sets, he took it apart before dinner to build the final version of it, which was really hard. He did a great job. There's a lot that was wrong. I keep reminding him, you need to make sure your, your build matches the picture before you go into the next step and he just doesn't or he doesn't look hard enough because he gets it kind of close. But I got it fixed in about 10 minutes so we got it here a little after 9.30. It's now 9.50, everybody's, well, Jax hasn't changed yet but they're in their reading. Let's go say hi. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm Anyway, I hope I'm sounding a lot less crazy. I'm trying very hard not to be so insane because I'm scaring everybody away. But it's just been a busy school week. I'm very, very ready for it to be Friday tomorrow and finish everything up. This is my last night staying up and setting up school. And then I have two nights off. And I even think I'm just gonna go easy on myself. I'm not gonna have any big social studies or art projects. We're just gonna do some language arts and math and call it a day because we're gonna probably go to the mall right away. And we'll only have a little bit of time before quiet time. Jax has the whole rest of the day to get his stuff done after the ball. So yeah, that is it. Still only have done a few of these braids that first night, but maybe because I'm not putting out as much tonight, I can do it. Last night, our internet went out like around, I don't even know, 12? Luckily, I had gotten my video uploaded and it was in YouTube's system getting processed. But yeah, the internet went out. I was supposed to adopt somebody in Animal Crossing. This is very dark, but that's my switch right there. And I couldn't because it cannot use cellular. I've tried to connect to my hotspot and it doesn't work. So I probably have to do that at some point. We got time zones going on, right, Paul? 
but I will be adopting Rasher the pig, which I learned a rasher is a piece of bacon. <laughs> And he's very bacon colored, but I'm adopting him for a while for old time's sake. Make sure I get his picture and his poster and stuff. I'm not going to be a permanent one. I am using that a couple slots to rotate through and just enjoy the experience of having different villagers. I know one of my permanents that I'm going to have come back as Marshall because even though I was never a Marshall fan in the past, I fell in love with him when I had him and I gave him up for Jax. And I miss him. <laughs> and it even like went completely wrong and my particular Marshall just got lost in the void through timing issues. Jax thought he was ready to adopt him and he actually had to go through a whole long process and we can't time travel on his switch because it's in child mode. So yeah, I want a new Marshall eventually, but it's nice to have that spot that I can swap everybody out. So. That's on the plan tonight and hopefully braiding because I just want it to be less grubby. I don't need to do the whole thing because mid-September I will be redoing it all to shades of turquoise for the beach. Yeah, that's my update. Don't have anything else to say. I'm just going to say goodnight. Thank you so much for watching. I have a bunch of comments that I need to go through and I think I'm gonna try to do that tomorrow, quiet time. We'll aim for that. It just means a lot. I do see about half of them, they pop up and they show me like the first line. The other half I like never see and eventually they pop up randomly in the YouTube app. <laughs> and I'm like, how did I miss that one? But it means a lot to me that you guys are there for me. There's like this little group of you really keep me hanging in there. So yeah, thank you. And if you're new here, my name is Stephanie. I hope you come back because I will be making a video again tomorrow. Stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands.